Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and bright and early, just before 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm heading down to Watford Audi to collect my car for today and I'm also going to be doing a sort of first impression slash review on this car as well but I'm driving my car down to drop it off and then I am heading straight to Tesco's. Now the funny thing is all week it's been my turn to buy muffins, cookies, some sort of treat at SB Race Engineering and every day I've forgotten. And yesterday I was in meetings all day, every day. And then I went and filled this car up and forgot. So ladies and gentlemen, the R8 is at Watford Audi, which is just down the road, a stone's throw away from where I am with this. What a beast. I have got a two litre Audi TT. I was supposed to be getting um, a slightly different one, which with the Quattro system and an Estronic gearbox, however, it had a um, nail in the tyre, unfortunately, and they couldn't order a tyre in time. But it doesn't really matter. I've still got an S-Line TT, and to be honest, in my perspective, this is the best looking TT that I've ever seen. And every time I see them on the road, they just are so much more aggressive than the old ones, and they're um, a little bit more manly than the old ones as well. And the exciting thing about this TT is it has a virtual cockpit, which is um, basically the first bit of technology that they put in this car and then developed it even further to put in the brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus. So this car is like the baby new R8. So I'm going to try and uh, give this car a good test, but also in this vlog, I'm going to be talking to you about... Um, all of the stuff that's been going on with my YouTube channel and everything that's got coming forward in the YouTube channel. Now for me, I need to go to Tesco's and get muffins for SB Race Engineering. The muffin hype didn't last long. Everyone's back to work and I'm still trying to work out where I can put my uh, camera on the dash because this slopes down which means you get a bad angle but then this slopes down even more and you can't rest it on this raised bit here because then it points up but the Alcantara inserts are really cool and that Diablo as well is also very very cool right guys I made it onto the M25 and let's kick off this Thursday slash Friday depending on how good my internet is uploading time update vlog <laughs> being back in the UK I haven't actually been able to catch up with you guys I don't know what you were up to I don't know what and you don't know what I'm up to and in this car you can really just sort of cruise relax and not really worry about anything I've just put 30 quid in the car and it's gone over half a tank which is nicer than my car so I'm driving down to Winchester now or Eastleigh which is just past Winchester to meet up with my business partner we're gonna sort of try and have an overview of the first quarter of 2015 which I think has gone really well so far supercars of London has been absolutely booming and again I can't thank you enough Monaco was a lot of fun and the meetings that I've been having recently have been really sort of quite cool but also revolutionary in the sense of moving forward and trying to offer you guys even more than just a YouTube channel the other meeting that I had yesterday so yesterday was just a packed out meeting I was driving here there and everywhere my fuel economy was actually really good because I was up and down the M1 and I think I've got about 495 miles left in my fuel range which is seriously impressive for a V8 and my average was 25.5 mpg so um, I reckon I could have got it to Leon if I drove like that the whole way but I also met with Ford in the morning now you guys will know that I went to Detroit in January with Ford as part of their Ford Performance launches for the um, North American Motor Show, the Ford GT, the Shelby GT350R and um, also the Raptor and they had a huge, huge presence at the North American Motor Show which I absolutely loved but I fell in love with the Mustang and if you follow me on Twitter I can't stop talking about the Shelby, the Shelby GT350, not so much the R because I think that's too hardcore, I think the Shelby GT350 is going to be the ideal crazy daily car um, and I'd love to have one I'd love to have one because it's the first time that it's come to the UK Europe and other markets other than the US in 50 years and the Mustang is such a famous phenomena for being a normal car that's just got that extra extraordinary persona about it it's so cool but to have the one of the first ones that comes to the to out of the US for, for 50 years would be a really sort of piece of history which I'd love to get involved with. Moving on to the YouTube channel which is probably the one bit that you're most interested in about is yes the last month was insane for content but the next three months 
I don't even know where to start, so I'm about 90% sure I'm going to be going to the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix, and that could be my famous last words because so much stuff um, I've realised within the YouTube world falls through, plans fall through, um, schedules don't really match up, and you don't have the right free time. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to be at the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. End of May, June, July, August is going to be chaos in central London, but I'm also hoping to um, country hop. Is that the right word? I was going to say island hop. But I suppose we're hopping off an island, which is Great Britain, and into France, maybe Spain, and enjoy the sun a little bit more because England, you don't get that much sun. To clear up, my second supercar. I don't know when it's going to happen because there's so many factors and external factors that I have to weigh up when, well now it's coming into my second supercar. My first supercar took me my whole life to get to where I was able to actually get one, but there was also the 12 month YouTube series as well. And I don't want to delay my second supercar because one might just come around the corner. And that's the other factor is the Murcielago LP640. It is my dream car and I will do everything that I can do to get it. When people ask me what, what do I want as my second supercar, I'm always going to say the Merchelago LP640. Whether it's realistic or not is another factor in terms of when the right one will come up because they're so rare in the UK. The prices are also going up as well, which makes them more expensive. And it's just, it, it blows my mind that this is the one car that I could potentially get before 25 and conquer the Lamborghini by 25 gold that I've always had since I was a kid. Talking to myself. Because I'm essentially talking to myself. Not many people will notice the camera. And I end up and I'll end up just looking crazy. It's gotta be the S-Tronic on the new Audis because that gearbox is spot on. And also quicker than manual, I think quicker than me in a manual anyway because I'm in control I don't see myself as a a manual racing driver growing up with a PlayStation as well. it's not really the sound of gear changes but I've been talking the whole way that I've been in traffic I've been gone 20 minutes I've probably got 19 minutes of content that I need to edit which not good G-Wagon right so we are just around the corner from the Incu Hive Business Startup Centre in Eastley, which is a brand new building, something that my business partner has um, sort of joint ventured into. Bit of a background story, my business partner actually invested into the Supercars of London, Supercar Scene brand. Whilst I was still at uni, he was a university lecturer of mine, and um, since then we've just been trying to go forward. And now I don't know what, is it this one? Let's hope. Right, so I've been here 10 minutes now and I've just seen Sam drive past a couple of times in a Lamborghini LP560. I'm gonna introduce you now, Sam from This Car, That Car on Instagram. How are you doing? Hello there, very well, thank you. How was the Lambo? Fantastic. Yeah, love Fantastic. it. Have you driven one before? Yeah. yeah, I have. Driven a Mercy Largo. And now, and yeah. now, now the Gallardo. Now the Gallardo. Which, which, which do you prefer? Um, the Messi Lago. Good. <laughs> Good. I was glad you were going to say that. And um, you've also got the 458 drive. Yeah. Um, are you looking forward to that? I am. Yeah. Extremely. You think you'll enjoy that more than the Lambo? Of course. Yeah? Of course. Okay, so uh, you're more of a Ferrari man. I am. Okay. I think. I think. So basically, Sam won the competition with Virgin Experience Days where um, I currently it was Make Giving Fun. It was a hashtag Make Giving Fun. We've got cars driving past. It's 4 30 here. Anyway, I'll get sidetracked. So Sam won the competition of the Virgin Experience days. You've driven a Lambo, you've got a Ferrari coming up, and you've also got a passenger ride in the area Latin, which is going to scare the hell out of you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So overall, has been a good day? Fantastic. Yeah, good prize? Yeah. <laughs> Top Perfect. Top so we've got some cars coming past now. Lambo, and Baby Blue, and an R8 as well. So what I'm going to do now, is let Sam head back, wait for his name to get called out so he can go and jump in the Ferrari 458. It's good to meet you again. And you. And, and you. Um, that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing Sam drive past in the Lambo. If he gets in the 458 quickly, 
and I might be able to catch you on camera as well doing <laughs> the 458. So make sure you do some down shifts. Perfect. Will do. <laughs> Will do. I've just left the Long Cross Proving Ground track and now I'm about to sit in lots of traffic on the M25, but that is my day done. Huge thanks to Watford Audi for allowing me to drive the Audi TT and I'm looking forward to driving the new Audi TT S, the more sporty version of this, very soon. The video of the first impressions of this car are coming tomorrow, so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already for um, some really fun videos with the Audi TT and I go and drive through the driver select and work out what is the best mode to drive down the country roads but also to drive across the motorways in the south of England so that video is coming soon they're quite cool houses actually behind me very nice but anyway that's it guys I hope you guys have enjoyed the update of everything that's to come on supercars of London I'm so excited and I hope you guys are as well and can join me on my journey through the summer as I head across uh, maybe parts of Europe in different cars and also film the supercar season in London so um, I will see you very very soon guys I am uh, going left to him <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> see you later guys